Canada. Canada is one of the most developed and industrialized countries in the world. It is located in North America and its official languages are English and French. Canada is a country located in North America. The Canadian territory is the second largest in territorial extension in the world. Precisely for this reason, it has quite different geographical aspects. The history of Canada is linked to the process of French and English colonization of the northern portion of America. Currently, Canada is one of the richest countries in the world. It has a thriving economy and modern infrastructure and its population a high standard of living. Canadians are ruled by a federal parliamentary constitution monarchy. Canadian culture has French, English and American influences. A curiosity about Canada is its name, which means small village in a local indigenous language. Canada Summary Canadian territory was colonized by French and English. Canada acquired its full independence from the United Kingdom in 1982. Canada has an extensive territory and is bathed by three oceans, Atlantic, Pacific and Arctic glacier. The Canadian population is around 38 million people. Canadian territory is sparsely populated. This country has large reserves of diverse natural resources such as oil, natural gas and wood. The Canadian economy is highly developed and industrialized. The country is a major producer of grains and minerals. Canada has a modern infrastructure equipped with various logistical equipment, especially in the air and road sectors. The culture of Canadians reflects the influence of colonizing people as well as the immigrants who entered the country in recent decades. Canada is one of the nations with the highest human development in the world, especially in terms of life expectancy. Canadian history The Canadian territory was inhabited by traditional peoples such as Inuit and indigenous people, who lived on primitive activities. The arrival of Europeans in Canada took place around 1500 with the participation of Italians and French. From there, the colonization of the country was initiated by France in 1608 through the creation of the colony of Quebec. However, the British also reached the region with the occupation of Hudson Bay. Thus, there were intense disputes between France and England for control of the territory. The English forces were the victors in the conflicts over land ownership and founded several colonies. The year 1867 marked the union of these colonies and the beginning of the process of consolidating the national territory of Canada. However, political independence itself only occurred in 1982 with the promulgation of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the country's constitutional document. Canada's Geography Canada is the second largest country in the world by land area. Therefore, it presents great geographic diversity. It is located in North America and shares a land border with the United States. The Canadian territory is bathed by the Atlantic, Pacific and Arctic glacial oceans, in addition to having a very diverse relief, predominantly ruled with elevations about 600 meters of altitude. The main formations of the Canadian relief are the Rocky Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains. Mount Logan, with almost 6,000 meters of altitude, it is highest point. In turn, the territory has a large hydrographic network, formed by several rivers and lakes. Canada's main river is the Mackenzie, and the largest lake is the Bear. Canadian geography is marked by the types of climate that exist in the country. The temperate climate occurs in the southern portion. This zone is characterized by well-defined seasons and the presence of temperate forest vegetation such as coniferous forest. In the northern part, the polar climate occurs. Therefore, in this region there is a record of very low temperatures and intense snow precipitation. The polar portion of Canada is located near the Arctic. In this region there is a predominance of tender vegetation. There is also a transitional vegetation, the prairie, present in the province located in the central south of the country. Canada's demographics. The population of Canada is made up of almost 38 million people. The Canadian territory is one of the least populated in the world. The local demography is marked by the unequal distribution of population in the territory since its larger cities are located in the southern portion. Canada is an urbanized country made up of several urban centers. The larger city by population is Toronto, which has around 6 million inhabitants. The capital, Ottawa, has just over 1 million inhabitants. Other Canadian cities that have more than 1 million inhabitants are Montreal, Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton. 
the formation of the Canadian population originated during your colonization process. Traditional peoples already inhabited the territory and it received many French and English settlers. The country has had in recent years a large volume of immigrants from different areas of the globe. In Canada, there are specific public programs to attract qualified labor. This country, like many developed nations, faces problems related to an aging population and lack of workers. The population enjoys a high human development with emphasis on the high life expectancy. Canada's economy. Canada has a developed economy with a highly industrialized base. All economic sectors in the country are well consolidated. The primary sector is intensely mechanized and productive. In addition, the country holds large reserves of oil, natural gas, minerals, and timber. In turn, agriculture is characterized by the high production of grains and the large volume of fish. The secondary sector is marked by the presence of varied manufacturers. Its main industries are electronics, food, transport equipment, chemicals, steel, metallurgy, and pulp and paper. Finally, the tertiary sector is highlighted by trade, various services, and tourist activities. The city of Toronto is one of the Canada's main economic centers. Canada's infrastructure. Canada's infrastructure is highly developed. The country has an extensive transport network with emphasis on road, rail, and air transport. Important transportation facilities are Peterson International Airport and the McDonald Cartier Highway. In addition, there is a complete energy production and distribution network. The service of water, sewage, and electricity is considered universal throughout its territory. In addition to urban structures, Canada also has positive points in terms of service offered to the population. Health and education networks have wide population coverage and are internationally recognized for their quality. The country also had large research and innovation centers in several technological areas. Government of Canada Canada is governed by a parliamentary federal constitutional monarchy. The monarchy is exercised by the United Kingdom, which controls Canadian politics until the recent past. Parliamentarianism is exercised through the election of representatives by the local population. In addition to the legislature, the population chooses the figure of the Prime Minister, who is the head of the federal administration. This nation represents a full democracy, based on liberalism recognized for the broad defense of individual rights and human rights. The country is considered one of the safest and most stable on the planet. Soon it receives many political refugees from conflict zones of the globe. Canadian culture. The culture of Canada has as main influences the traditions of the descendants of French and English who colonized it. This relationship is present in the language, since it is a bilingual country with French and English as official languages, and in religion, since Christianity is the predominant religious practice. In terms of culture, Canada is highly influenced by the United States through music, movies, and various media. There is a strong connection in various sectors of society between Canadians and Americans. In food, the consumption of various fish, their products, and potatoes stands out. In terms of sport, Canada has a tradition of winter sports such as ice hockey. Ice hockey is Canada's national sport. Canada Facts The country's name originates from the indigenous Canadian languages. The term Canada means small village. The Canadian flag is very well known. It is white and red and its maximum symbol is the maple leaf. Canada hosted the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal, the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary, and the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. The land border between Canada and the United States is recognized as the longest of any country on the globe. The country has large reserves of fresh water and forest, which are essential for its economy. Niagara Falls, located between Canada and the United States, is one of the main Canadian tourist attractions. About football, the Canadian team arrives for the 2022 World Cup after 36 years since 1986, without participating. The country is part of North America alongside the United States and Mexico. Therefore, it is part of CONCACAF, which encompasses not only the northern region of the Americas, but also Central America, the independent Guianas of South America and Suriname. 
So, belonging to CONCACAF and supervised by the Canadian Football Association, one of the main competitions that dispute is the Gold Cup. In other words, the equivalent of the Euro Cup for Europeans and the Copa America for South Americans. In addition, he is also a stamped figure in the Confederation qualifiers. First, the fact that Canada is not a country traditionally focused on football didn't prevent the emergence of the sports of the round ball in the 19th century. Influenced by English immigrants, the first activities began with the Western Football Association, precursor of the current Canadian Football Association. In 1885, he even beat the United States team in 1-2-0 in New Jersey. Over the years, Canadians have created more custom for the sports, although it's still much inferior to hockey, for example. In 1904, at the year's Olympic Games, a team from the region called Galt FC won the tournament and took home the gold medal. However, in the following decades, the success of the Olympic gold didn't raise the bar. It only brought confusion with the association and with FIFA for financial reasons for athletes' payments. Canada's path to the 2022 World Cup First of all, it is worth mentioning that the Canadian national team, also known by the nickname Canucks in English and Rudges in French, both official languages of the territory, had a long way to go to Qatar. However, the start wasn't so difficult, as it won all the games in Group B, which had Suriname, Bermuda, Aruba and Cayman Islands. In fact, they conceded just one goal and scored 27 in the four games. Still, he needed to defeat Haiti in a back and forth duel, where he won 4 by 0 on aggregate. With that, along with El Salvador and Panama, he got its place among the main teams of CONCACAF to fight for one of the three available spots, that is, is competed with the United States, Mexico, Jamaica, Costa Rica and Honduras, in addition to the others mentioned first. Thus, to the surprise of many fans, the Canadians not only reached the 2022 World Cup, but also placed it first, that is, ahead of powers such as Mexico, the United States and Costa Rica, which will also be in the competition from November. With just two defeats and seven goals conceded in 14 matches, the Canada team scored 28 points and scored 23 goals. The fight for a spot in the knockout stage. Firstly, Canadians' excitement over the World Cup will not be enough to lead the team to immediate success. Well, the lack of tradition in the selection can be a very fundamental factor in such a traditional competition. In addition, the few experience in the tournament only increase the difference to other members of the group who have more shooting. With that, expectations are not too high for the Canucks fit in this competition. Despite being a team with the potential to surprise, it has no guarantees that it will be able to overcome its group's opponents. Therefore, even with so many emotions and overcoming challenges to reach Qatar, the dream could end in three matches. Canada at World Cups will only be the second time. First of all, Canada took a long time to reach the 2022 World Cup. In fact, this is the second time the Canucks have reached this position. That hasn't happened since 1986, when they managed to qualify for Mexico. However, at the time, they lost all the group stage games and dropped out of the competition. On the other hand, the North American team tried to enter the World Cup only once during the first eight editions. After that, he had four other opportunities through the qualifiers to reach the tournament succeeding in 1986. However, in the last eight most recent attempts, he failed even once.